Welcome to the second semester of school year 2020-2021. This is Empowerment Technologies. Lesson 1, Week 1, prepared for grade 12 learners of Laura de Leon Halili High School by yours truly, Rio Arnavelgas, Teacher 3, your teacher ear. For this week, the most essential learning competency is for the learners to be able to compare and contrast the nuances of varied online platforms, sites, and content to best achieve specific class objectives or address situational challenges. The topic is an ICT in the context of global communication. And at the end of the module or this lesson, you're expected to, number one, identify what makes an ICT platform by naming the different basic devices used in communication. Number two, enhance your communication skills by having a conversation to your teacher for three minutes through a video call to increase your global impact. And number three, select the best social media platforms after comparing and contrasting them. Let's have our preliminary activity. Please prepare your pen and paper, then read each statement carefully and select the best answer. Are you ready? Question number one, communication technology to locate, save, send, and edit information. What could this be? Letter A, communication. Letter B, information. Letter C, technology. Or letter D, ICT. Again, it deals with the use of different communications technology to locate, save, send, and edit information. The answer is D, ICT. Number two, it refers to an electronic device that can accept raw data as input, manipulate, or process it to produce output. Options. Letter A, cell phone, B, computer, C, radio, or D, telephone. What's the answer? Correct, the answer is computer. Number three, which of the following social media website is for social network or social networking? Letter A, Facebook. Letter B, Reddit. Letter C, Twitter. And letter D, YouTube. Okay, they have an answer. Correct? The answer is letter A, Facebook. Now, can you try answering this question? What's the name of the hardware used in communication that you see in each picture? Let's try numbers one to three. Okay, let's have number one. Can you take a guess? Okay, correct. The answer is computer. Number two. What could this be? Yes, it's a monitor. Next. Good job. It's a laptop. Let's have numbers four, five, and six. What's the name of the hardware used in communication that you see in each picture? Number four is... Alright, it's webcam. Next, number five, correct, it's a headset. Number six, correct, it's a radio, but it's not the usual AM, FM radio that you have at your homes, right? Okay, let's have number seven. Number seven is a speaker. Number eight is, correct, that's a telephone. Number nine, the one that you're using is a cell phone, right? So these pictures are really familiar with you. Let's try number 10. What could this be? Correct, it's a router. Well, this is quite familiar or similar rather to a modem, right? Okay, but this is a router. Okay, number 11. It's a microphone. Next is number 12. Correct, it's a walkie-talkie. It's a dual walkie-talkie. Now let's try number 13. Mm -hmm. Do you have this at home? It's a cassette. 
Yeah, it, it has a small tape actually. It's like a small radio, but it's called a cassette. Number 14. Okay, it's a fax machine. And number 15. Yeah, it's a television. Of course, you're familiar with this. Now let's take a look at the at these pictures taken from Boyd 2020. Can you pick the top five digital tools used in video conferencing that you know? So there are various icons here or applications. Now you can check on your answer key if you're not familiar with these applications. The answer key is located at the end of your activity sheets. Okay, so it's in the what's in part letter B. Okay. So you have here Zoom, Skype, MS Teams, FB Messenger, and Google Meet. Okay. Next. So what we have been discussing is all about ICT. So what is ICT? ICT refers to technologies that provide access to information through telecommunications. So it focuses primarily on communication technologies. And this includes the internet, wireless networks, cell phones, and other communication mediums, according to Chris and Sun on 2010. What is computer? So computer is an electronic device that can accept raw data as input, manipulate or process it to produce output. The computer system is consists of hardware, software, and peopleware. So hardware refers to the tangible component of the computer system. So this can be, for example, a monitor, keyboard, keyboard, mouse, or webcam. It could also be USB flash drive, speaker, headset, microphone, or printer. Next is the software. So software refers to the intangible part of the computer system. So for example, so this can be Microsoft Office application like MS Word, MS PowerPoint, or MS Excel, or other applications used to produce output. Now what about peopleware? So it's the user. It refers to the user in which if either one of the three components is missing, the entire computer system will not function. Okay? So here's another term to define. The word is mobile media. So this refers to media devices such as mobile phones with operating system. Okay. And yes, uh, each mobile device will not function if it does not have an operating system in it. Now, what are the types of social media? Let's have the first one and it's called a social network. So these are sites that allow you to connect with other people with the same interests or background. You have Facebook and this Google symbol, right? So these are social network sites. Okay, next you have bookmarking sites. These are sites that allow you to store and manage links to various websites and resources. So most of these sites allow you to create a tag that allows you and others to easily search or share them. So you have Pinterest, SlideShare, and many others, okay? Next is social news. So these are sites that allow users to post their own news items or links to other news sources. The users can also comment on the posts and comments may also be ranked. So like for example, Reddit and Dick. Another type of social media is media sharing. So this are sites that allow you to upload and share media content like images, music, and video. Most of these sites have additional social features like liking, commenting, and having user profiles. Like for example, YouTube and Instagram. You're familiar with these, right? Next is microblogging. You have sites that focus on short updates from the user. So those subscribed to the user will be able to receive these updates, like for example, uh, Twitter and Plark. Okay. Another type of social media is blogs and forums. Uh, these allow users to post their content. So other users are able to comment on the said topic, like for example, Blogger or WordPress. We also have video conferencing or video conference. This is a live visual connection between two or more people residing in separate locations for the purpose of communication. So at its simplest, video conferencing provides transmission of static images and text between two locations. Just like what we're doing right now. 
However, this is an asynchronous video. Wherever you are, you can open this video lesson and watch at your own time and pace. Okay, so it's more sophisticated. It provides transmission of full motion video images and high quality audio between multiple locations. Like for example, Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Messenger, and etc. Okay, so right after our discussion on the terms on empowerment technologies and the types of social media, let's have this short activity, okay? So suppose that you're browsing on your phone the following social media sites. So check on its content and how it can help you in promoting your organization or brand. So letter A, can you answer the social media site focus of the application? Letter B, brand exposure opportunities. And letter C, what are the advertising opportunities of the social media sites? Okay, so let's try number one, Facebook. It's a very famous application that you open probably 10 times a day, am I right? <laughs> okay, so let's have letter A. What's the social media focus of Facebook? Can you answer? So it says here, uh, smart parenting with Enfergrow A plus for Philippines. What I love about homeschooling is you nurture and learn, is, I'm sorry, is you nurture that learning attitude. So I say learning talaga doesn't stop. Uh, this is according to Paula Paralejo Fernandez. So what's the social media site focus? Correct, sharing of news, announcements, content, and stories. Very good. Next, what's the brand exposure opportunities? Okay, this, uh, these two photos have 4.5K likes and reactions. And the other one is 285 likes, hearts, and wow, emoticons. What do you think is the brand exposure opportunity for Facebook? Correct? The likes or comments on content. Very good. Last, what are the advertising opportunities in Facebook? Yes, yeah, they have. Or Facebook application has Facebook ads, premium ads, and sponsored ads or advertisement. Very good. Okay, so can you try this on your own? So this is YouTube application. Can you identify the social media side focus of YouTube? Letter B, what are the brand exposure opportunities? And letter C, advertising opportunities of YouTube. Let's answer letter A, okay? What's the social media side focus? Can you take a guess? Very good, sharing of information and entertainment videos. Okay, letter B, what's, what are the brand exposure opportunities in Facebook? Correct, you have subscribe and share activity. Subscribe and share activity. Okay, and last, letter C, what are the advertising opportunities in YouTube? Correct. YouTube has video ads, reach ads, and display ads. Very good, grade 12. So that's it for today. Good job, everyone. Now prepare for the next lesson on online safety, security, ethics, and etiquette. Again, this is Empowerment Technologies, ICT in the context of global communications. Now, if you have any questions, you can find me at ria.novelga001 at zeped.gov.ph or send me a private message at my messenger chat box, okay? So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Stay at home and stay safe.
Thanks for watching. This is Teacher Air of Education Channel. Subscribe now.